Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at security for DynamoDB. DynamoDB supports encryption in transit using SSL or TLS. By default, communications between DynamoDB and applications use the HTTPS protocol. All data sent to or retrieved from DynamoDB except DAX is encrypted in transit. DynamoDB supports server-side encryption at rest for all table data, including indexes, streams, global tables, backups, and data stored in DAX. With server-side encryption, DynamoDB encrypts data when it's persisted, and decrypts data when you access it. DynamoDB encryption client provides client-side encryption for end-to-end -end data protection. With client-side encryption, data is encrypted before sent to DynamoDB and remains encrypted at rest. Your application is responsible for encryption and decryption. All data stored in DynamoDB are encrypted at rest using AWS KMS. By default, server-side encryption is enabled on all table data, it cannot be disabled. You cannot encrypt only a subset of items in a table. Data in DynamoDB is encrypted at rest using one of the strongest cryptographic algorithm, AES-256. There are three types of customer master keys or CMKs for encryption. The default DynamoDB encryption option is the AWS-owned CMKs. The master keys are owned and managed by AWS. You cannot access the AWS-owned CMKs. With the default option, DynamoDB handles the encryption process, such as encryption, decryption, and key rotation. There is no additional charge to use AWS-owned CMKs. AWS-managed CMKs are the master keys in your account, that are created and managed by AWS on your behalf. You can only view these master keys including their key policies. However, you cannot manage or change them. DynamoDB uses AWS managed CMKs to handle table encryption and decryption on your behalf. With AWS managed CMKs, additional AWS KMS charges may apply. Customer managed CMKs are the master keys created and managed by AWS customers. You have full control over these CMKs, including managing their key policies, enabling or disabling them, and key rotations. DynamoDB uses customer-managed CMKs to handle table encryption and decryption on your behalf. With customer-managed CMKs, additional AWS KMS charges may apply. When you enable DynamoDB stream on a table, DynamoDB encrypts the stream using the same table-level encryption key. Table backups using on-demand or point-in-time backup are encrypted. Tables that are restored from the backups are also encrypted. LSIs and GSIs are encrypted using the same encryption key as the base table. You can only encrypt global tables using AWS-owned CMKs or AWS-managed CMKs. Customer-managed CMK are not supported for global tables. You can enable encryption at rest on DAX. However, DAX doesn't support encryption using customer-managed CMKs. DynamoDB is fully integrated with AWS IAM for secure access control. You can easily control access to DynamoDB using AWS managed IAM policies. The managed IAM policies are predefined DynamoDB permissions for common use cases. For example, you can use Amazon DynamoDB read only access policy to grant read only access to DynamoDB. You can also grant admin users full access using Amazon DynamoDB full access policy. AWS also allows you to use custom IAM policy for granular access controls. You can specify DynamoDB resources in the IAM policy using Amazon resource names or ARNs to control access to a specific table, index, or stream. The ARN of the table is made of the AWS namespace, region, your account ID, and the table name. The ARN of the index or stream includes an additional index name or stream label. You can use action to specify table operations or item operations that you would allow or deny, such as list tables, get item, put item, update item, query and scan. You can use the effect section to allow or deny actions on the resources that you specified. By default, all resources and actions are implicitly denied, until you explicitly allow them. You can use IAM policy conditions for fine-grained access control. For example, you can restrict access to specific items in the table based on the primary keys. Suppose you have a user table that stores user-specific information. You can use the conditional policy to allow users to access items with primary keys that match their user IDs. Here is an example of a conditional IAM policy. 
It grants users read-only access to items in the users table, where their user IDs maps the partition key. The IAM policy explicitly use effect and action to allow the get item operation. By default, IAM policy implicitly denies all possible actions, until you explicitly allow any particular action. In this case, get item is the only allowed action. The resource element specifies the user's table using the table ARN. The condition element restrict the access by checking the partition key and limiting the item attributes. It uses the condition keywords for all values and string equals to ensure that all values in the request must satisfy the condition. The DynamoDB leading keys condition checks if the partition key matches the user ID. It only allows users to access the matching items. The DynamoDB attributes condition further limits the access to specified attributes. In this case, the IAM policy grants users read-only access to the name and email attributes from the users table, only if their user IDs match the partition keys. In this episode, we've learned security in DynamoDB. DynamoDB supports encryption in transit using SSL or TLS, encryption at rest with server-side encryption, and client-side encryption using DynamoDB encryption client. By default, server-side encryption at rest is enabled for all table data, including secondary indexes, streams, and backups. It cannot be disabled. There are three types of CMKs for DynamoDB encryptions, AWS owned CMKs, AWS managed CMKs, and customer managed CMKs. DynamoDB is integrated with AWS IAM for secure access control. You can use IAM policies to grant users and groups access to DynamoDB resources, such as tables, indexes, and streams. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB security. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.